Uh, I would like to discuss the basic elements that we must consider when we do a fall clearance calculation for our fall protection equipment. The first element that we must consider is uh, from the anchor point, the length of our connecting device. In this example, a six foot lanyard. We also must take into consideration the deceleration or, or the deployment of the energy absorber in our system, which is basically essentially a braking distance. Other consideration that we have to take into account, the height of the worker. In this instance, we're, we're looking at a, a, a worker of a height of six feet, and we always want to take into consideration the safety factor, and in this example, the safety factor being three feet. So essentially the four elements, the length of our connecting device, the deceleration distance, the height of the worker, and as well as we take into consideration the safety factor.